Out of Surfside, Florida, where, as we showed you, the remnants of that collapsed condo building were demolished overnight. The confirmed death toll has climbed to 28. 117 people remain unaccounted for. CBS's Manuel Bajorquez is at the scene tonight with new questions about the strength of that fallen structure. Strategically placed explosives went off at 1030 Sunday night and within seconds, what was left of the Champlain Tower South crumbled to the ground. Nearby residents were warned to shelter in place and close windows. Others watched solemnly from a distance. Today, officials said the demolition was necessary. This pile closest to the building was actually holding the building up. And so therefore it was not safe to do uh, search activities on that part of the pile. These are some of the first crews to resume their work 20 minutes after the smoke cleared and reach areas that were not safely accessible before including a section with master bedrooms. Identifications will be able to accelerate now that they have access uh, to that because of it had been inaccessible and then because there were likely a lot of people who were sleeping at that time, unfortunately, in, in, that, in that part of it. The building's demolition could affect the investigation into the initial collapse. Well, it just makes what we have to do a little bit more complicated. But investigators like Alan Kilsheimer will also review photographs, including some that bring into question the layout of steel reinforcements in the building's concrete supports. That doesn't mean they weren't the right number there. They may not have been arranged properly. We're also learning more about the lives lost, like 58-year-old David Epstein, who was recovered two days after his wife, Bonnie. Their son, Jonathan Epstein, posted on Facebook, My parents were really the best, and it's been so comforting to relive the joy of their lives through the testimony of friends and loved ones, adding, Mom and Dad, I love you both so much, and I'm so, so proud to be your son. There were concerns Tropical Storm Elsa could topple what remained of the building before crews were able to demolish it. They brought it down just in time. The outer bands of Elsa are already impacting Surfside, but officials say the search will only stop for lightning or winds above 30 miles an hour. Major? Manuel Bojorquez, thank you.